guys welcome back to my channel or if you are new to my channel welcome my name is Jamie I am a lifestyle channel where I do a variety of videos if you've stopped by on your first uh, kind of look at my channel I do welcome you and I uh, urge you to check out all my videos I do everything from DIYs like what you see here as well as decor and I also like to talk about um, inspiring others through just different conversations I do a variety of different types of topics on my channel so hope you stay and subscribe to my channel um, if you are one of those lovely people who have been with me for a while. You will know I have been on a bit of a break from all my social media. This past week I have been uh, getting slowly back into it. I usually take a yearly social media break, which is how it had started. And then some things happened in my personal life that... Um, I won't talk about here if you follow me on Instagram or on Snapchat, but if you're interested in knowing what had happened, I'm not really wanting to talk about it here on my channel. I may do a video in the future because if I do, it's just too soon to talk about it in depth in a video. If I do, I think it would be a great video to inspire others that you're not alone if you're going through something that is a tragedy and kind of maybe you can relate to that. So if you'd like to know why I haven't been really filming or posting or anything like that, go check out my Instagram. But I am back. I'm ready. I'm feeling really inspired to get back into filming videos. And you're probably wondering, and maybe you're not wondering, why am I looking all kind of crazy and whatnot? Uh, I have no makeup on. I do not have my hair done. I am in my workout clothes. What you see is what you get. And I wanted to start my video, first video back. Um, and I think it, I'm hoping it will inspire anyone out there. Um, regardless, if you are a woman, a man, a young adult, a ch whoever you are, I guess this may be geared a lot towards women specifically, but I hope that anyone watching can feel inspired um, and take that away from this video. So I want to get into that now. So today's video is basically what I want to come across to you is actually how I'm comfortable in my own skin and being what you see is what you get. Don't get me wrong, obviously I love makeup. Hello. Hence, I did why I did a whole vanity and all of that because I love, absolutely love makeup. I've always loved makeup. However, I've always been more on the less my whole life up until about a year or so ago filming videos. I started getting into playing around more with foundation and, and all of that because I think it's a lot of fun to play with makeup and it can do wonders for you. It can really boost your self-confidence. I think it's amazing. However, when it comes down to it, I think what can happen is that makeup is one of those things that people feel women should wear or that you're not pretty unless you don't wear makeup. And I really think that's actually ridiculous. I think anyone should feel comfortable in their own skin. Now, a little back history of of me is I, I am 45 years old, so I am middle age, and I've never worn a ton of makeup. I actually, my mother didn't let me start to wear anything until I was in grade nine. She allowed me to start wearing the tiniest bit of blush, and I still remember this little tiny tube of gel blush. I can't remember where I got it, uh, but I would have been 14 years old and I just remember up until that point asking my mom if I could even wear mascara. Could I wear eyeshadow? No, you're too young. No, you're too young. No. So finally when I was, it was, I think it was grade nine uh, that she said I could, I can't remember if I bought this little tube of blush, gel blush, or if she did, but I remember being so extremely excited for this tiny little bit of makeup and that was basically all I w was allowed to wear. When I got into high school, 
she was okay with me wearing some mascara and a and the little bit of blush but i didn't wear lipstick um did i even wear eyeliner i don't think so and that's basically i i did get into wearing a little bit wearing blue eyeshadow i wore blue eyeshadows for years until my 20s and you can do lots of blue eyeshadows now but back then it was an icy blue and that's all you wore and I thought that was awesome. So no foundation, no concealer. And even back then, there was really nothing I knew about that. So I, from a very early age, didn't wear a ton of makeup. And so it got instilled in my brain that that's just the way it was. Although I longed to wear makeup because I thought that's what I was supposed to do to be pretty. I would see other women, other girls, and this has continued on throughout my life, how amazing makeup can make you look. And, you know, going through my, you know, teenage years, very low in confidence, very shy, uh, through to my 20s, uh, I've struggled with very, um, huge issues with self-confidence and I still struggle with that uh, especially with weight and and uh, skin and just trying to be that perfect person now why I'm doing this is because I have so many lovely followers that give me suggestions or I interact with and on Facebook I I do interact with some of you not not a lot uh, and there was a, a lovely lady who was talking about the no makeup challenge for a week and I just went on and said that most days I'm just wearing a mascara, an eyeliner and a tiny bit of blush and then chapstick and that's all I do on a day-to-day -day basis and then her response was this maybe you should do a video about it I feel like a lot of times women wear makeup because it's expected of them so we get to the point we don't feel comfortable not wearing it because of being judged because we don't have perfect skin or we have fine lines or scars or scars of some sort I'd like to get to the point of not wearing it other than mascara and I started to think about that and I, I started to think what a great suggestion on a video and why I feel comfortable in my own skin. It has taken me a really long time to be so. Uh, and I've always worn, even every single day, I've always worn mascara, little bit of blush and eyeliner. And I used to wear, when I was going out, eyeshadow, not usually foundation, but I always wore eyeshadow up until just about it was around two, two and a half years ago, a suggestion from a coworker said, because one day, because if I'm not feeling well, I'm okay not wearing makeup because I always think I, I used to think I looked ill. That's why I wore it. And I didn't wear any at all. And she says, you look very beautiful today. And I looked at her and I went, what? Like, what are you talking about? I'm not wearing any makeup. I'm not wearing eyeshadow, nothing. She says, exactly. So I went home that night and I started to think about that response and thinking about the need that I have to wear makeup to feel good about myself. And I think once I really started to break it down, I realized it's actually kind of ridiculous. We all have different reasons if we like to wear makeup, why we wear it. I've already told you why I've given you my um, reasons as to why I wear it um, and why I chose to always wear it no matter what maybe not the foundation but I always felt before that I had to wear at least certain things uh, otherwise I wasn't pretty because this to me before wasn't pretty and ever since that moment I started to think it's okay I don't like that's exactly it so from that moment on my day-to-day -day is if I'm feeling whatever, I will wear just some mascara, a little bit of eyeliner, and the tiniest bit of blush with my chapstick. And that is what I wear on a day-to-day -day basis to work and for the most part. And I began to think about that and be comfortable in that and say, you know what? It doesn't matter what anyone else thinks I look like. It's what matters is what's in here and what's in here. So I started to change my mindset that this 
what I have here, this in there is not necessary. What it is, is it just makes me happy to be able to do things to jazz up when I want to do some makeup. And that's how I started to actually become quite comfortable in my own skin, is accepting the fact that it's not a necessity, it's just something that will enhance or just kind of makes me happy to be able to play around with makeup because I love that it allows you to express your creativity to do what you would like to do and to play around with it. That's what I think makeup should be and that the pressures that are put on us as women, especially women and young girls, that it's necessary to be beautiful. And I just want to say that it isn't. True beauty comes from within. You may think that's whatever, silly, but it's honestly, self-acceptance is difficult and being able to be okay with how you look without anything on it. I do believe that a good skincare system in place is key because um, people will be like, oh, you have beautiful skin. You don't even need to wear blah, blah, blah. And in my opinion, okay, yes, but I work at it. I do a good skincare routine. I see, um, you know, by washing my face tone and doing all of that and trying to be very conscious of what I put on with skincare, I do work out, I drink water. I mean, there's a lot of different things that you have to kind of do to get to that point. But self-acceptance is key. And then things have actually shifted for me over this last year that a lot of times on my two days off, I don't even wear anything at all. This is what you see unless I'm actually going to sit down and film an intro or a video because I like to do that. I've gotten into wearing makeup for that. I don't know, it's just something I like to present for me and makes me feel good to be able to do that. Um, no one tells me I have to do that. It's just something I enjoy doing. If I didn't feel comfortable coming on here like this, I wouldn't. But I really want to stress that it's okay, that you are beautiful no matter what, no matter what anyone tells you, you are beautiful inside and out. And that we need to, as women, need to lift each other up, that we need to be positive, we need to engage each other, that we need to accept who we are. We need to accept our bodies for what they are. No one is perfect. I have the wrinkles, I have the laugh lines, I have the forehead lines, everything, crow's feet, but I've gotten to the point where I've earned every single one of those lines. I have a head full of gray hair, not the reason why I'm wearing a hat. I got home from the gym and this is how I go to the gym. I go like this and I don't care who sees me. I go out to the mall, whatever. You know, I, I've made a conscious decision that if it only matters if it matters to me. It doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. It doesn't matter what my husband thinks. It doesn't matter what I hate to say this, you know, to say this what you think, but my my goal is it has to matter to me. And I truly hope that that being said, that if you are going through or you have been bullied or you have been teased or even as an adult, as women, we can tear each other down and we can be so hard on ourselves. And I'm a number one culprit of being hard on myself. But the thing that I am learning is that we all have skin. That's just how it is, you know, and we are born with it and we can try to make it better by doing different things, which is great. But to accept that this is who you are can be difficult because of the pressures placed on us as a society. And I really know what that's like. I, I truly do. As a young girl, I was bullied and uh, pressured, and I've been pressured my whole life to try to be a certain way, look a certain way. And at the end of the day, I'm just trying to do what makes me happy. And I am 100% comfortable in my own skin with not wearing makeup. I have other issues with my body that I continually have to work on. That's a whole other video, but 
this aspect, I'm very comfortable not having to, like I feel I don't need to wear makeup. I honest to goodness I think that is something that can be definitely tough to accept because you know when you're not wearing in my mind I, I used to think if I'm not wearing at least some mascara I look like I'm sick and I had to get through that and and people kind of in the beginning I think a couple people had asked me that, are you not feeling well today? And then I'm like, I just didn't feel like wearing makeup. And then I'd get agitated and angry and be like, why do I have to wear it to not look sick? And I'm very fair skinned, so okay. But at the end of the day, it was because I cared more about what they thought than what I thought about myself. So I really hope that what you take away from this is that it's within and that we have to accept who we are and that it's not an easy thing to do. Trust me, I know, but it is something that if you truly can retrain your mind and start doing it, you have to start. You can't be scared to not wear makeup. If that's something like I struggled with for many years up until my 40s, not to even wear, you know, mascara and that, I was very nervous to do that. But I had to get over and just do it. And let me tell you, it's been the most freeing thing ever for myself to be able to be like today I don't feel like wearing makeup and guess what I'm going to go shopping I'm going to go to the gym I'm going to work and it doesn't matter because I'm okay with it and it's not an easy thing to accept I can tell you that much so at the end of the day what I want you to take from this video is that you all are beautiful no matter what other people may say to you look within yourself and look at yourself and it sounds strange, but just really look at yourself in the mirror and start telling yourself, I am beautiful and it doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. It matters what I think. I thank all of you for watching and I am just hope that it has inspired you to try to look differently if you are one of the many people that struggle with, you know, that home beauty is you know, what you look at. And I really do hope that this has maybe inspired you to try to change your thinking about yourself and that we can move together and uh, know that we, especially as women, as young girls, that it's not necessary to wear makeup to be beautiful. We are all beautiful and we are all unique in, in each and every way. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.